Rocky Mountain family, and welcome to another Mental Health Monday. Before I start, I want to apologize for the quality and the camera change. As you guys know, my Sony camera broke, and I sent it out to get fixed, and hopefully I will get it within the week, but I was told one to two weeks which means I'm back to vlogging with my iPad. So I hope you will forgive me for that and let's get into this video. So today I'm sharing with you guys my 10 favorite self-soothe products. These are products that I love when I'm feeling stressed or overwhelmed or it's just not a good mental health day and I need somewhere to put that energy. And I've gathered them all up for you so let's get into it. So product number one is my yarn and my crochet hook. I've been crocheting since 2012. <laughs> Before kids I was crocheting blankets it was like my favorite thing but now I have three girls and I'm a vlogger on YouTube obviously so my schedule's a little full I can't really make full-on blankets anymore my children will probably ruin them before I can even finish it so I now make hats it's like my favorite thing to make and I just really think it's rewarding to have that negative energy of stress or overwhelmed or whatever it is and put it somewhere where something positive comes out of it like a hat. Product number two is this aloe face mask and really I mean any kind of face wash or mask or any kind of like face cleansing product. For some reason, don't ask me why, but I find it very relaxing and soothing to like go take off my makeup and go like wash my face, put some moisturizer on, put a face mask on, just like pamper myself a little bit. Plus I just really like the smell of aloe. Y'all are about to see a pattern here in just a second because <laughs> I do kind of have a favorite way to self-soothe. So y'all about to see that. I just find it super relaxing. Product number three is my giant woodwick candle, specifically the woodwick. I know candles in general are very soothing to a lot of people, me included, but specifically this kind of wick, I love it. For those of you who don't know anything about the wood wick candles, they crackle when they burn. It says it right here, crackles when it burns. So for me, when I light this and I set it like next to me, like on my nightstand or whatever, when that crackles, it reminds me of a bonfire, like camping when I was a kid with my parents and my family and my sisters, and just being around that campfire and roasting marshmallows and just relaxing as a family. And it brings me back to that memory, which is a very happy place for me, which is exactly why I love these candles. They're kind of expensive, more expensive than I spend on candles normally. Like I I get Walmart candles with, that are like three to five dollars <laughs> because I'm cheap but I will start probably buying at least one of these every now and again just because of that sound. Product number four is baby lotion. This is a big one for me. One of my favorite things to do when I'm feeling stressed or overwhelmed or whatever is to just smell that smell I just love that new baby smell oh my gosh it's just like the best smell in the world just a new baby and their little soft skin and their sweet little smell there is a reason why Devin and I have three girls in three years there's a reason for that ladies and gents not just because of the smell but because I love having little babies but anyway smell is just a very big self soother for me and it's like instant whatever I'm upset about or stressed about or nervous about or overwhelmed about it just goes away like instantly because I usually just temporarily but hey whatever's relief right product number five is my aches and pains nighttime relief specifically can you guess it because of the smell. This particular bath salt has menthol in it. I don't know why, but I really like the smell of menthol. And one of my favorite things to do here lately, if it's been a very bad day, I like to go take a bath, put this in my bath, light my woodwick candle, and smell my baby lotion. <laughs> don't laugh at me, but it works, and you gotta do what works. Product number six. Now this one is a little bit different. I don't do this very often. I do this when I feel very touched out, not by touch. You know when you get like touched too much and you're just like, stop touching me. I don't want anyone to touch me. I just want to go in a room and don't touch me. I get that way, but with sound. Like I get very overwhelmed with sound sometimes and I just want to plug my ears and go in a room and I just don't want to hear anything for a minute. I was told today why and what that is, but that's not for this vlog. That's for a different vlog. So I'll explain that to you guys later on. But what I like to do with my weights, I have two of them. These are two five pound weights and my favorite thing to do if I'm feeling touched out or overwhelmed is to rub them up and down my thighs, which I'm doing right now, but you can't 
can't see because I can't get my camera down there to show you guys. But I take this part of my weight right here and I just rub it up and down my thighs and the heaviness of the weight being rubbed up and down my thighs for some reason it grounds me and it's very soothing that repetitive pattern up and down and up and down and the weight of it I don't know it just makes me feel a lot better it's very similar to weighted blankets but this has movement and I like that I've never tried a weighted blanket I'm sure I would like it I mean I'm guessing <laughs> but this is like to replace that like if you don't have a weighted blanket but you have five pound weights around this is a good alternative product number seven is lotion okay now wait I know you're judging me I know you're sitting there and you're saying Kristen you just showed us baby lotion how is this different? I'll tell you how this is different because I don't like to use baby lotion for what I use this lotion for. I uh, sometimes will take lotion and I'll put it in my hands and I'll do repetitive this kind of movement. Like I'll just rub my hands back and forth and up and down and that motion is very calming and very soothing. I don't do it with baby lotion because I just don't want to smell like baby lotion. There's a difference. There's a difference in wanting to smell the baby lotion and wanting to get the self-soothe that way and actually wanting to wear it. <laughs> and I don't really want to wear the baby lotion and smell like like a baby I guess is what I'm looking for so I just use this instead I just grab another lotion and I'll put it on my hands and I'll just rub it back and forth and that repetitive motion is also very soothing for me product number eight is a coloring book this is very common for lots of us who have mental health problems lots of us love to color it's a very calming relaxing thing to do you're just there with your coloring book and your colors and you don't have to think about anything you just color in the lines or whatever you want to do they sell adult coloring books they're all over the place but I have children so I don't have an adult coloring book but I have lots of these so hey to me a coloring page is a coloring page I'm gonna color on something product number nine is a journal. I have been journaling since, oh my goodness, uh, middle school, maybe elementary school if I remember correctly. I think I started in elementary school because in third grade I knew what I wanted to do with the rest of my life and that was to be an author. I've been wanting to be an author since then. I still do to this day. <laughs> and I, that's when I started writing and I'm pretty sure I kept a journal even in elementary school if I remember correctly. But this is one of my favorite things to do because I've been doing it the longest mostly <laughs> and it's just so relaxing relaxing for me to just let everything that I'm feeling or thinking or whatever it is that's bothering me out on paper. To be able to see it is just so much better than it just being up in my brain and it's just nice to put it somewhere. But I'm this kind of person kind of in general, uh, anytime something's on my mind or something's weighing on me, I just have to do something about it. Like I have to write about it, I gotta talk about it, I gotta do something about it. And product number 10 I saved for last because it's kind of obvious <laughs> and everybody does this you get on your phone you listen to music you get on Facebook you watch YouTube channels like mine and you just find a way to self-soothe that way mental health problem or not everybody does this thank you guys so much for watching if you would like to see more mental health Monday videos there will be a playlist down below don't forget to subscribe to my other channel there's a link down below it's starting this weekend on Saturday if you want to follow me on social media my links are also down below and I'll see you guys later in a new vlog bye guys